Alright everybody, this is Steve from Deicide, uh, checking in on you, go metal. Alright, so, talking to you about my setup a little bit, um, you know, uh, as you can see, I like my china symbols. Um, I pretty much use them as crashes these days, but I do have some crashes in there also. Um, say, they're all pretty meaty, uh, pasty provides them, I use uh, five, going from left to right over here. Uh, you know, one over the hi-hat um, with the crash close by, another one over that, um, two crashes in the center, another china over the tom, another crash low, there's the ride in between uh, low rack and floor tom with two more amount of chinas up there kind of overlapping. Uh, you know, you don't want to be swinging at nothing out there, you want to be able to hit whatever you're uh, swinging around at. So. Say China is very important to my sound. I think I like the dark intensity of it. Um, you know, you can see there's a lack of um, secondary ride or other little chimes and bells and stuff like that. Um, lots of drummers use those and they sound really cool. Um, given the choice of myself uh, uh, hitting something that goes ding or something that goes. You know, I'll take the heavy duty uh, China any day. Um, for my uh, time setup, uh, I got, I'm got i going with a 13 inch snare here these days. It's kind of a smaller uh, uh, circumference, obviously, but it uh, gives you me more room behind the kit, uh, less knuckle bashing, and a tighter uh, yet thick sound, not the thin like a piccolo snare. Um, three times across the front. Um, you see my center tom is directly mounted above the uh, snare um, with a, and that is a 12. Got a 10 and a 13 on either side. Um, kind of seems easier. It's a good flow of toms, you know. Um, everything's just kind of a stick away. And as you can see as you go up, um, the, ch the crash cymbals are split uh, like an upside down triangle above the center tom. Um, Right china above the third tom, left china above the first tom. Uh, that is split, as you can see, by uh, crashes. Uh, one floor tom these days, I used to go with two, but uh, it's kind of a long way to go sometimes, uh, dirt playing uh, fast stuff. Um, so no, no need to go all the way that far around and, and uh, come back around, I felt. You know, it's just less to carry around. Uh, we do small club shows, so it's less gear, less hassle, less to mic. Um, but you know you still can deliver uh, what you gotta go with. 22 inch ride, nice fat bell. Um, you know, no complaints on that one. Uh, sturdy. And uh, as you can see over here I'm using the uh, uh, hi-hat attachment so I can keep the pedals close together down here. I'm using the Axis um, uh, long boards as you can see too. Uh, and I use the onboard uh, e-kit uh, trigger mechanism. I don't know if you got enough light down there, but you can kind of see I have them on there. And of course, those are adjustable, and they help on stage with minimizing crosstalk, stage vibration, mistriggering, and um, very effective, very efficient, and very reliable way to trigger. I think um, over here, as you can see. Um, Using the Alesis uh, DM5 trigger unit, I mean that is a good unit. Um, let's see if we get a, get a shot of it over here. Give me a second. Um, Yes, this is a inexpensive unit, um, incredibly efficient, effective, and reliable. Um, you know, there's only one setting. There's only one thing that I trigger for the uh, kit, and that's the kicks. There's only one sound I need. I think it's foot or kick or fat or something, but it's one of the basic uh, sounds. Um, it's really all we need. You know, I like the sound of acoustic drums live, so. I mic the snares and the toms and the cymbals. Uh, don't really trigger any other sounds or outer stuff. Like I say, it's kind of an old school setup. Uh, ride on the right, hi hats on the left. Uh, 
Going with the Pearl Rack. It is sturdy and reliable. I used to have the big Falicon uh, kits, uh, but that, you know, I kind of got tired of lugging that big thing around. Uh, so I kind of like to travel light and easy these days. And, um, you know, that's the setup. Kind of basic. Like I say, lots of symbols, plenty of stuff to smash. Tom's nice and tight where I need them. And one thing I like to uh, emphasize about setup is uh, the throne, you know. I like to give myself plenty of room back there. And one thing I like to uh, uh, mention is um, sitting up high. You know, make sure you sit high enough. Um, don't make it any harder than it has to be on yourself. Um, the higher you sit, you more you have more leverage on the kit. You're playing down on it instead of fighting like uphill, uh, trying to achieve these speeds that are easier when you're sitting up. If you can sit with your with your hips at least as high as your knee or higher, uh, you're gonna have a lot easier time playing. Same with the ride. That's nice and low. I sit up over it. Uh, high hats. I'm coming down on everything. Same with the times. You know, there's enough. You want to be reaching up and making things harder on yourself. Um, so, how you set up is going to really make your playing more efficient. So think about that uh, while you're setting it up. And uh, you know, hardware is everything. Good hardware makes all the difference. Um, so, I watch your setup. Keep your gear simple uh, and reliable. Um, there you go. Rock on with that. Metal.